Hello, this is you again. How are you? Yes, good. So what do you think about Allah naming the names of things and he asking the angels what is the names? Wait, uh, wh uh, what's the topic? Oh, so you asked me to call you, but you do not know what the topic? Uh, but uh, I uh, I was busy making a new account. So I called you with this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 remember, I, I remember I blocked you because you keep calling me and I told you don't call me now. You remember? Don't do that again. Yeah. Okay, so don't do yeah. that again. If I say don't call me now, we are not done. We allow people yeah. to call when we have we have time to receive. You know everything have a time. Okay, let yeah. me ask you in chapter six, okay. verse number twenty-five, and chapter eight, verse number thirty-one, chapter sixteen, verse twenty-four, chapter twenty-three, verse number eighty-three, chapter twenty-five, verse five, chapter twenty-seven, verse number sixty-eight, chapter forty-six, verse number seventeen, chapter sixty-eight, verse number fifteen, and many more. Keep saying. That the Arab they say to Muhammad, this is nothing but a fairy tales. Yeah. Why the Arab they say to Muhammad, this is nothing but myth and false stories and stupid stories, and they are fairy tale stories. Why they say that to him? Because uh, it uh, it looks like fables, you know. It looks like myth. Okay. For example. So is it is it myth or it is not? No. No. Okay, but you just said it is. It looked like fabulous. You just you are the one who said that. Yeah, okay. yeah. For example, hmm. if I say uh, that uh, there was a flood, there was a flood uh, global. Nobody would have believed that actually. But uh, you know, it's what is in the scriptures. You have to believe it. Hmm. But the, no, the, no, no. Actually, even science proved that in a certain time on history, the whole earth was covered by water and there was a flood. So this is not against science. Oh. Hmm. What about, uh, you know? Was, uh, uh, let, let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. When when the when the Quran speak about things, who is the witness for those stories? About which things? Anything, anything in the Quran. I mean, Muhammad, he was not in the time of any, and he is not from the people of Musa's. He is not even. He do not know even who is Musa is. He do not know what the right name of Musa is. He do not know his right uh, last well, name. Uh, yeah, he do not yeah. know who is Isa. <laughs> he do not know who is Mary. He do not know yeah, who is uh, Abraham. Who is uh, how Muhammad he got this information from? Firstly, Mu Musa was raised up in Egypt, right? Hmm. And Muhammad and, was an Egyptian. And okay, did you uh, do you know how they called Moses in uh, Egypt? What they called call him Musa. Uh -huh. They called him Musa. Okay. Musa what Musa? Uh, what, uh, what Musa mean? And uh, newborn. Newborn. What? What, yes. what does that mean? Musa in Egypt. They 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 gave him that name. No, no. What the word Musa mean? In Egypt. And uh, friend, what yeah, Musa yeah. mean? Musa. The, the guy. His name is Musa. Who is a prophet? Yes. Okay. What the name mean? In what language? Arabic. No, in the language, though, because this is not Arabic. This is this is his, his name in Hebrew. This is not a name in Arabic. So, what the name or mean? Uh, it means uh, newborn. Newborn. So, this is what Musa yes. means. Okay, where do you get this information yes. from? He, he he lived in uh, Egypt, right? No problem, my friend. This is not the question. He, uh, but, but, but he is not an Egyptian. I'm asking you, <laughs> what what the name mean? You say the newborn. I say to you. What is that yeah, mean? Where, where do you get this information from? Musa in uh, Egyptian uh, Egyptian language means a newborn. Where do you get this information from? What do you mean? Sh search it up. My friend, where do you get this from? No, don't tell me to search it up. So where do you get this information from? Uh, I lost it. I I searched it many years ago. You know, like somebody you know. Simply, you see, you Muslims you do not know. If we search the whole Islamic books, we will, we will not find an answer. Simply, uh, Musa Musa is the one we believe, the one who we, we 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 took him out from drowning or from the water. So someone we pulled him up from the water. That is what Musa is. It's Moshe. It's Moshe you know, Moshe. Yeah. So so and you're Hebrew. you're a prophet. He he copy names, but he do not know them. So this is explained oh. to us. This is explained to us. That Muhammad is fabricating his own stories because if you cannot even explain to us where you get the names, it means you are fabricating your own stories about those names, even if those names are true names. As an example, Musa, Musa is or Moshe, uh, or Musa is a is a is a real person, 
but Muhammad he fabricated tons of stories about him and Muhammad he never been in the time of Moses so right, how you can me. trust Muhammad to be a person who tell you about Moses and how we can confirm that the stories of Moses in the Quran is correct with history okay firstly Musa in uh, in uh, Hebrew means a uh, pull out on something I don't know but in the Egyptian language mm. it, is, it, it has been that for a long time but my friend Muhammad is not an Egyptian so why Muhammad is uh, okay so what what uh, you see we will go back again let me ask you as long as we are talking about Musa in the Quran it says that Musa and, and the people of Musa has been misled by the Samaritan do you agree with that as you see yeah. there's many verses yeah. in the Quran speaking about that the Samaritan by what the Samaritan by what by what actions well, it's a place according to the Quran. He made for them a big goat, a big, uh, big cow, and they start worshiping it. So, is it true that the Samaritan was in the time of Moses? According to your Bible, it doesn't. Okay, according to your Quran, it does. It does. Okay, yes. how this happen? According to history, what about what about history? There's no uh, evidence. That he lives in the time of uh, no, my friend. We can search. We can search right now. As long as you are the one who said to me a second ago, search Google. Yeah, because... Right? You are the one who said to me, search Google. Okay. So yeah, because... if we if we search history, where you find what is there is there is not necessarily a religious historian wrote about them. You know, people who search and study deeply, and we will find that this is a big mistake. So why uh -huh. why your God Allah telling us history about something? Which is not true. Uh huh. Because mm. uh, it is in your book that it says that, that he lived in uh, it lived in another time. When you, okay, it's not it's not about my book. I said history. Yes, According to is, history, can you show me? Can you show me in the history what is the connection between the Samaritan and Moses? If you want to talk about that, mm. your book says that uh, Haman was was in the time of. Uh, in another time, I don't know who I forgot, but in the Quran it says Haman was in the time of uh, uh, Pharaoh, hmm. and we found. Not only uh, that, Haman, Haman is not even an Egyptian. According to your Quran, he's an Egyptian, and he is the minister of of the Pharaoh. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so you yes. you agree? You agree that your Quran is full of uh, historical mistakes? Okay. Can I explain? Hmm. explain. There's there's ar archaeological evidence hmm. that said that Haman in Egypt. Was the uh, stone? No, uh, that, was that, his name. That name is not Haman. I, 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 I made a video about it, and this is a lie. This is not Haman. This is a different name. No, different name. It's totally different name. It's different name. It's different name. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, Haman in the Quran, the the one the one history speak about the one you are talking about, which is not his name, Haman. That guy is an engineer, right? What is, is he engineer or he is a leader of an army? Uh, I don't know. What 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 Haman what Haman he did the one you are talking about? He worked for Pharaoh. Mm, okay. And but, what, uh, my friend. Okay. And what what he worked for for own what his what his job? He was the uh, boss of the people. What I what guess. boss of what? What he do exactly? He he, he was the head. He was the. Yeah, he just uh, worked with stones, you know, building the pyramids. That okay? Now here, okay, here. Don't you see that even your prophet he misunderstanding and he claimed that it is uh, Haman or sorry Pharaoh is the one who built a tower so he can reach to God. No, the tower is the tower of the Babylon. Oh yeah. So how this has became a tower of the hero of the Pharaoh? I don't know. Okay, so obviously this is a very a, a stupid thing, right? Oh, same time, they... same time. The Quran says that Pharaoh and Haman they have two armies. Yeah. Okay. How if if Haman work for for the Pharaoh? How Haman have an army? Um. Uh, because he also is a leader. 
he's a leader, but he is well, he sh should not have an army by him. Is he an engineer or he is a le uh, uh, an army leader? Both. He's both. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. All right. But, uh, so uh, okay, but, we go back. We go back. Okay. So yeah, ha okay. Haman, Haman is the one who built the tower of the Babylon in Egypt. Babylon. Well, this is the tower. The Quran saying that all uh, 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 the Pharaoh he said to Haman, built for me a tower. Yes, right. but who says that it is the tower of uh, Babel? My friend, the story here, your prophet, obviously, he is mixing up the story between the Babylon king Babylon and the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh, he wanna up, he wanna go up to the sky to speak to the God. Do you see it? Who says that it is the tower of uh, Babel? Well, there is no tower in Egypt about uh, to to go to God. What tower? Show me the tower in Egypt. Which, which one? No, oh, it's uh, three thousand years ago. Is it? No, gone. no. Everybody knows that this is the tower of of uh, of uh, Babel. No. Do you it's have not, a proof? Okay, do, you, do you have a proof from anywhere in history that there is a king in Egypt? He built a tower. A king? Is he? Hmm. He's not a king. Pharaoh is not a king. No. Oh, oh, oh uh, yeah. I mean, you're you're confusing me because uh, Pharaoh wasn't the one building. Hmm. It was Haman. He's not a king. Yeah, but the king is the one who ordered him, right? Yes. Okay. Where is the tower, and where is the story we can find that there is a Pharaoh he ordered to build the tower to to go to God? Uh, there isn't. There isn't. So this is a fabrication. Same time, I want to ask you this simple question. The Quran no. keeps saying the word Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Who, who is Pharaoh? Okay, firstly, I want to say that on the Rosetta Stone, it says that Amun Haman Hatab is the head of the stone quarry workers. So it did mention the name Haman. Firstly, uh, uh, secondly, the word uh, Pharaoh is Pharaoh. He lived 3,000 years ago in Egypt. But Pharaoh is not the name of a person. Pharaoh is a title. Who is the Pharaoh we are talking about? Oh, uh, you mean you mean the Pharaoh is uh, yeah. the Ramses guy? How you know? Because he lived in the time of Musa. How you know? Because he lived in the time of Musa. How you know his name is Ramses? Because uh, that's what his real name is. I search on Google. Where you got this one from? From Prophet Google. So you are saying to me the Quran failed to tell us which Pharaoh because now this is stupid to say the Pharaoh said, the Pharaoh said, Pharaoh said, and actually it doesn't say the Pharaoh said, it says Pharaoh said, which means the Quran, yeah. the Quran consider Pharaoh as a name of a person. Oh, but it just mentioned one Pharaoh, and that is uh Ramses. Okay, but is it true there is only one Pharaoh? No, there's more, but uh, according to Allah, in the eyes of Allah, this Pharaoh is very important. No problem. He is very important. He had, okay. he had a big who, role. How we will know who is this Pharaoh? What? Who is this Pharaoh we are talking about? There's many Pharaoh. Pharaoh is a title, is not a name of a person. So when the yeah, Quran uh, says Pharaoh, is there's a mistake? No. There's a mis Yeah, because here we go. Who is this Pharaoh? Is he is, is that the name of the person or this is a title for the person? It's a title of the person. No, no, no. Okay. Show yeah, me where it says this is a title. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. It's talking about the Pharaoh in the time of uh, Musa. So no it's uh, definitely no it's, problem. It's definitely uh, Ramses. Okay, definitely different, differently Ramses. Okay, so different. Where you get this definitely? Because there was there was a one Pharaoh. I lived in the time of Musa, and that uh, that is Ramses. Mm, why? Uh, there's only isn't it? The Quran says that this guy he died, and there's must be another under Pharaoh. How the Quran says that he died by when he crossed the the sea, and then there's only one Pharaoh. So in the time of Musa, should be more than one Pharaoh. No, oh. he died already. What do you mean? So that's it. Yes. Since then, Egypt have no Pharaoh. The guy he died, and then they have no Pharaoh. Yeah, no uh, yeah, but uh, but later. Not no problem, but this is in the time of Musa's too. So at least in the time of Musa's, based on your Quran story, we should have two pharaohs. Which one? Two pharaohs. Which one? What the name of oh. the pharaoh? The one who died in the oh. sea. Just one. 
what is the name of the Pharaoh who died in the scene? Ramses. Where we can get that name from? Google. Google, thank you very much. So Muhammad, he is collecting stories that they don't make sense, and you know, he just put them there. He copied from the Jews, whatever he learned yeah. from them, and he mixed up the story and he, he put it there. Now, no. if we go, if we go, hold on. When, it is did, did, the, did the Quran mention the Babylon Tower? I don't know. I don't think. No. Okay. Isn't it your Quran says that Allah He opened a school to educate people about magic in the Babylon? Yes. <laughs> okay. Is that accurate? That the Babylon Tower is built by Allah and His angels? <clears throat> Where does it say tower? Babylon. Do you see it? The angels they came yes. down in the Babylon. Do you see yes. it? Yes. Okay. Yes. What, what is what is the Babylon? What is the what is the angels sent down in the Babylon? What does that mean? Your angels were sent down in uh, Iraq. We know what is Babylon, my friend. Now I'm asking you, what it yes. does mean that Allah He sent two angels down in the Babylon to teach magic? Yes. They well, were yes, teaching what? magic. Okay, yes, what? Was, where he sent them down in the Babylon? What Babylon mean? It means it's a uh, city, right? Babylon is a city. Uh, how yeah, we know? It's not, it's how not, we know it's a city? Uh, yeah, it's it's not actually a city, but uh, it's in Iraq. But uh, I don't know actually what it is. Oh, okay. So okay, so Allah he decided to open a school to teach magic in Iraq. Correct. School no. What do you mean now? You just said uh, yes uh, ten, uh, five minutes ago. I'll just go with you. Yes. Okay. So Allah, He opened a school to teach magic in Iraq. Why in the Babylon? Why not in Egypt? Because uh, these people need to needed to be tested. Those people need to be tested. Okay. So yes. who, which people? The people in Babylon. But they are not believers. Uh, they, they are already lost. Test them in what? You 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 test the believers, not the non-believers. Yeah, but no, they they were believers. My friend, they are not believers. Didn't uh, Suleiman uh, teach them the right path about God? So obviously, Su they Suleiman were he taught them the right way about God. This is in your Quran. Yes. yes. Show me where. What what chapter? My friend, what what does the prophet do? Teaching men about friend, God, Suleiman, right? Suleiman, he was in Babylon. Uh, well, what the fuck? Don't use bad language. You are saying to me, Suleiman, he taught them about God. Taught who? The Babylon. That's what you are saying. Yeah. Are you there? Yes. Okay. So you are saying to us that Allah He sent Suleiman, He taught people about the people of Babylon about God. Are you saying that? Probably, yes. Okay, where you get this story from? Google. No, no, no. Never mind. No. Never mind. I'm wrong. Okay, you are wrong. Okay, which we, we, we take it back. So now what the story? What the connection between Suleiman and the Babylon then? Maybe uh, people uh, believed in him and followed him. Mm -hmm. Believe in what? Believe in Allah. Okay. So people of Babylon, they were they were Muslims. Some maybe. Hmm. Because yeah. obviously, when Allah tests something with angels with black magic, they have to be Muslims. Uh huh. I mean, that's 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 a good thing. So now, what we are learning from you that Allah He tested the Muslims in Babylon. Who was the uh, prophet for the Babylon? The Muslim prophet. There is no prophet. So how they Babylon. became Muslims? I just maybe they heard about him and maybe they went to uh, Jerusalem and maybe they followed him and in which he says 
what he says mm. okay so now to make it simple for those who they are listening what we learn from them now that Allah he decided to send two angels down in Babylon and Babylon Harut there is their name is Harut and Marut and those angels they teach magic and based on the verse in the front of us, before the angels they teach magic, they might you sign a disclaimer that this is only a trial. Is that correct? Yes. What is the purpose of this trial? <clears throat> to uh, test them. Yes, who? The people in Babylon. By doing what exactly? By letting them choose the path of Shaitan or the path of Allah. Okay, but what what exactly this magic will do if you practice it? Uh, you, you you can do well uh, wh whatever you want. No, no. What exactly? No, it doesn't say that. It says a specific thing. It says it make you fight. It cause fight between the husband and wife, and they get divorced. Is it true? Let me read. Oh yeah, hmm. yeah. So now, any any fight happen between wife and husband in the world, it happened because of Harut and Marut. Do you agree? No, no. What do the, you mean, no? Because, because of the people who learned magic. Oh, because of people who, but but the people learn magic from who? They learned from Harut and Marut, correct? Oh, but don't blame angels. What do you mean? If uh, if the angels is the one who taught us to do black magic, so we can make a wife and husband fight. Yeah, but they, they were only a test. I mean, what kind of test is that? I mean, why you are what kind of God? He sent two angels to open a school to teach people how to do magic and the purpose of this magic to make a wife and husband fight and get divorced. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> Why you are you laughing and respect your God, my friend? Hey, Allah is punishing you. I know a guy, he laughed like you about the Quran. In the morning, he found himself look like Christian prince. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so now what we will do? What kind of God he do such a thing? He sent two angels to teach you black magic and the purpose of them that a woman, she sh throw her shoes at the husband and the husband he throw his cushion at the wife and they start putting the hair of each other unless the husband is bald and then they end in divorce what is what is that will do to god what is what god is accomplishing yeah it's uh, just a test what that test my, my friend what, what test is is divorce is a sin in islam no okay so what the point of this test is is the uh, test for the people in Babylon if they would uh, accept the magic or not? Okay, but oh, but the angels themselves accept the magic. No. Well, then then why they are teaching the magic? Allah Himself accept the magic. Otherwise, why He is teaching? Who is the one who taught the angels the magic? Allah, correct? Uh, Allah gave them knowledge. Yes. Okay, so Allah is who rebooter. And, no, Allah and, is God. He can do whatever He wants. No, no, what God good? Okay, he is the one who taught the angels how to do magic, and then he sent the angels in a mission to open a school to teach magic. When you enter the school, they give you a paper to sign that you should not know. You should know that magic you do you learn here is just to make the wife and the husband fight, and this is a trial. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, okay, so it is legal to do so. If Allah is saying to you, if you sign it, it's legal, so this is legal. So this is a legal school opened by Allah, certified by Allah. You join it, you be, you graduate as a holy booter, and then you practice yeah, but, your magic and you make people fight wife and, and husband. Yeah, but in the verse in the verse it's saying here, uh, when people would learn, some people would, most people would learn black magic. Hmm. Then uh, they would cause a split uh, divorce between the man and wife. But you can still do whatever you want okay. with the magic. Oh, so you can do like it's it's not necessarily to do to cause a split. There's other yeah. things can happen with. It. So why the Quran yeah. saying it uh, uh, to make a this is what the magic do it, to make a wife and husband? Why he's mentioning this this only? He did not mention that you can do whatever you want. Uh, which verse? 
the verse in the front of you it doesn't say anything that the magic can do except making the wife and the husband split the Quran yeah but okay so this is what the, uh, the magic do it says here that the people will do that it didn't say that you need to learn this magic so you can uh, uh, divorce a man and a wife right so this is what the magic can do that your skills here you got Allah he opened a school to teach the man and the wife the magic which caused the man and the wife fight that's it there's no other skills oh, okay show me what is what it says the other skills you know it, I'm just saying that hmm. the most people will learn black magic hmm. they were uh, divorcing the man and a wife that's hmm. what they were doing they weren't doing something else Mm. It says, yeah, they so they, now, they, so now all the wives and the husband in the world they are getting divorced because somebody did black magic for them. No, just some people, some people. Okay, where we can go and learn black magic, which can cause people divorce. Do you know a place? Yes, where Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. Mm. Do yes. you think then when the prophet was fighting with his wives that because somebody did the black magic to him? No. So why he was fighting with his wife? Because that's what some people do. What, what, what they do? Fight. So Muhammad was fighting with his wife just for fun? No, for a reason. What is the reason? So according to you, when you have a, a fight with your wife, then you are uh, effectively black magic. I don't believe in. Oh, yeah. I don't believe in black magic anyway. What do you mean? I don't believe my in black friend, magic. My, 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 my grandpa did black magic. To who? He had nine chins. My <laughs> to who? Your grandpa, he did black magic to who? Tell us a story. Uh, my, my grandpa, I, I'm not faking the story, but my grandpa. I know, it's a true story. It must be true. I, okay, true story. Okay, go ahead. Well, uh, my, my mother told me, she just told me that my grandpa did black magic. Hmm. He, uh, Shaitan told, ordered him to grab very weird things like the brain of a hyena or such things hmm. you know for example you had nine jinns hmm. uh are, are like his workers and after a while the jinns were beating him up i'm not even lying hmm. i'm you, not lying you, too bad your grandfather in his time there's no cell phone to take a selfie with the genie now do you <laughs> do, do you do you like uh, you, and you believe in the story your grandma she told you right no my mother your mother told you did she see the genie your mother I don't know only your grandfather he can see the genie no do you have any mental, yeah, 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 do you, yeah, do you yeah, have yeah. any mental history in the in the family your in your family or the, only your grandfather he suffer from that I think uh -huh. I have proof I have proof it's real okay let me ask you then uh, as long as you are talking about the genie the Quran speak that Allah will punish the genie by burning him by fire he will send him to hell correct yes okay yes. but isn't it the genie is made from fire smokeless fire okay so how you can burn fire by fire because when allah says he created them from smokeless fire hmm. it doesn't actually mean that they are actual smoke when you look at them they are not so what they smoke. are so what they are made from they are like a uh, smoke but like they they also have a skin you know how they are the, smoke, but they have so how they have a skin, but they are invisible. What? How they are they have a skin? You said they have a skin, they have a flesh, right? Yes. Okay. How they have a flesh and they have a body, but they are invisible. And they can go through walls. What do you mean they are in uh, another dimension? What other dimension? Either they have a physical body or they don't have a physical body. Are they spirit? No. So you, oh. They have a physical body, and you are the one who said they are made from fire. Yes, but they are not fire. Okay, so now they have a physical body. How they became invisible with the physical body? How you can be like the angel, as an example, when he came to your prophet, he took a uh, he took a visible shape of a human being. Correct? Yes. Okay. The angel is made from what? Smoke and fire. The angel is made from smoke and fire. The no, 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 light, light. Okay. So the angel is made from light, so he is not a physical being, correct? Uh, he is physical. He is physical. Okay. Yes. The light, the light, which is physical, as you said, uh, still can be invisible, correct? 
Yes, in okay. uh, another dimension. Another dimension. What does that mean? It's like uh, it's like it's hard to explain. It's like in another dimension. Like it's uh, uh for example, if an uh, uh hmm. the angels next to me, uh-huh. uh, right and left, they are writing my good deeds and my bad deeds. But they are still in another dimension. You you, you can't see them. Mm. You can't touch them and uh, like that. Okay. Now, according to Muslims, jinn, the genie, they can have sex with Muslim women, correct? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Before we go there, do you see your prophet saying that there is a prison uh, for uh, the infidel genie in heaven, in hell? Sorry, what? Read with me here. It says, "There is, That's there is." Uh, the, what the uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is not. Uh, this is not about the genie. Hold on. Let me see. Where is the genie? Can I ask you one thing? Sure. Go ahead. Why are you not a Muslim? Uh, somebody put a black magic on me. Isn't it your God? He said he is the one who decide our fate. Oh man, but, uh, just be a Muslim, you know. Okay, but isn't it your God? He said he decide this decide our fate. So according to Islam, I am a Muslim because your God, and not a Muslim because your God, he decide I'm not a Muslim. So why you don't ask the same question to Allah? Why he don't make me a Muslim? Ah. Hmm. If I ask you a very simple question, do angels have sex? No, fuck no, no. Don't use bad language when you speak to me, otherwise I will block you. Sorry. All right, sorry. Okay, sorry, no problem. Let us go here. I will show you something. And I will ask you to read for me. Yes. Is my screen showing for you? Yes. All right. The account of Harut and Marut. No, I'm, uh, I just uh, see you. Uh, your YouTube channel. I don't see it. Yeah, right yeah now. it's coming. It's coming. It's uh, it, it, that one. It came by mistake. If we go here and read together, we will find this Islamic website. This is uh, alislam.org, speaking about Harut and Marut's story. Simply, what the story here is saying that Harut and Marut, and the angels actually, they uh, when Allah He said, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to send. Uh, a guy to inherit the earth the angels they said to him are you going to send somebody is going to do mischief man? all right and then somebody going to do mischief man, mischief man. and supposedly this is this is adam so they complain okay. you know you, you read the story it says with me okay uh that every day and every night angels used to descend for taking up deeds of the middle yes. man of the residents of the earth yes on seeing these deeds the residents of the heaven and began to find fault and sin being committed by the doers of the earth like disobeying allah and making false allegations against him they used to say that to allah is high and above the dwellers of the world say about him at least a group of angels requested Allah O nourisher do you do you uh, do you not fawn upon your creatures or your creations who make false allegation against you and disobey you even though you have forbidden them from doing such a thing O Lord your turns to them even though uh, all of them are you in your control are living life of ease due to your bounties so Allah willed and allowed the angels what is his perfect power and uh, how he issues his commands in the world and his creation the angels are aware of his blessing as they have been created uh, uh, sinless and he made them uh, distinct among his creation and has made them ever obedient and has not given them the power of sinning then so he said to the angels select two 
beings from your community so it might I might send them to the earth and give them the nature of a human being and put them uh, and put in them desire for eating drinking etc and I introduce a uh, year in of these minds like the children of Adam then I will take uh, I will take a test of them in the matter of my obedience and worship the angels selected Marut Harut and Marut from among them as they were foremost in finding faults in a human in asking Allah so to make it short here the angels they complain okay you know you have you, you created those people you are not punishing them look they are committing sin and we are better than them etc so why well, you want to give them the earth so Allah he said okay I want to do this choose the best of you and I will send them down to earth and I will give them the nature of a human being and I will see after I give you the nature of a human being if you commit sin or not then the angels they chose two guys two angels their name is Harut and Marut and then Allah he told them now I have put all those desires and needs in you which I have created in man do not include anyone do not which mean don't take partners don't do commit shirk you worship me only in worshiping me do not commit adultery and don't drink wine so Allah he gave him three commands then he removed the curtain of the sky so that he make uh, his uh -huh. power visible to the angels he sent those two angels in earth yeah, I see. in the form of two handsome men and he made them camp in the Babylon do you see it yes okay so how when they come hold on when they come when they came to earth they saw a very beautiful woman advancing <laughs> toward them she was fully adorned and beautiful uh, and uh, and uh, 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 performed and her face was invalid you know she is wearing a burqa but she is showing her face now the two angels had thought about the women that they were forbidden from so now they start getting horny they discuss it between themselves and they decided to walk away from the temptation after walking a few steps passion overpowered them and they returned to the women and they asked her to allow them to have sex with her that woman she said my religion does not allow me to lie with men with, with you and tell you adopt my religion she's very conservative woman the, and they they inquired her religion she said I can only fulfill the desire of the one who worship my Allah and who take uh, and uh, and and who protest before my Allah and by the way this is a false translation because it doesn't say my Allah it says my God because Allah is a name for Islam then and she pointed toward an idol so here if this is Allah is a correct translation that will make Allah as an idol too that yeah. is my Allah then the angels looked at one another exclaimed now to sin instead of one so now they are saying oh, oh we would not we would do now to sin uh, so you know they don't like that so now they will be polytheist and another is the adultery then they consulted again but desire overtaking them so they said to the women we agree we agreeable then she said as you prepare to bow before the idol you must first drink wine before prostration without taking wine is not recognized the angel again they consulted again and said oh now there's a three sin uh, which is adultery and uh, and uh, and uh, you know uh, worshiping idols and drinking wine you know and illegal sex so they say it to the women verily you have proved a big trouble for us still we are ready to do whatever you say they are so horny they cannot stop this woman is very very pretty so they drank the wine and they bow before the idols and they redied re re uh, to lie with the women which means they get their clothes uh, off and they get naked 
when suddenly a beggar entered the place a guy asking for money they asked him who are you and why you have come here he replied you are your conditions make me adopt your intention this guy is a smart and saw them getting naked and they have naked women with them you are fearful and frightened you have brought this woman uh, uh, to solitary place surely you are evil followers saying that and he ran away then the women she said to the to the two angels I swear by my Allah that this man knows you and aware of your place and he has gone to disgrace both of you and me which means he will tell the people about us so I will not draw near you you must go first kill him so now the two angels they go after the guy and supposedly they killed him now when they returned they did not find the women there and they found that suddenly their clothes had fallen down and they had come become naked they began to bite their fingers with their instance and shame of and sorrow mari ikut yesus mari ke jalan yang benar Tuhan berkati